guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here then, my name is Charlotte and I am mummy to two toddlers and I love making cleaning videos. Um, but today's video is a bit different, I'm going to be sharing loads of ways to keep your toddler entertained at home, which I'm thinking is going to be very helpful at the moment. Um, I'm actually doing one of the activities right now and it is keeping them so entertained and it's so easy with things that you probably have at home anyway. So let's get to the video and enjoy! Okay, so for my first activity, all you will need is a container, some cups and spoons and some oats. And this is a pouring and scooping activity which is really good for developing fine motor skills and it keeps them entertained for ages. And it's using things that you are likely to have in the home already. And Mila and Jack really, really enjoyed this and it kept them entertained for so long and that was great because it meant that I could sit down and finish my coffee. Try. My next activity is so simple. All you need is a plastic bottle and some little pom-poms. And this is also great for the fine motor skills and also problem solving because he needs to try and figure out how to get them in and then how to get them back out again. And Jack really, really loved this and it kept him entertained for ages. And I just love watching his little concentrating face. It's so cute. <laughs> As it was such a beautiful day, we decided to mix up the first two activities and we took it outside. So Mila loved pretending that she was making me a cup of tea and some perfume and they really enjoyed mixing up the oats and the pom-poms and putting it in the bottles and then tipping it back out again. So this was really great for imaginative play and also, yeah, Jack was just being entertained for so long just putting pom-poms in a bottle and tipping it out again, it was great. My next activity all you will need is a pipe cleaner and some Cheerios and if you don't have those you could also use some string and some dry pasta and then they could even paint the pasta to make a necklace and this was more aimed at Mila's age and she's three and it was amazing just to see her sitting and concentrating for so long um, and Jack on the other hand is only one and a half and he just ate the Cheerios. <laughs> The next one is so simple, but it does require a garden. So all you need is a bucket of water and a paintbrush. I did also put some soap in the water because they always, always love playing with bubbles. So basically you just tell them that they can paint the fence and they think that's great, obviously, because they're not normally allowed to paint the fence. But obviously it is just water, so it will dry. But they will have so much fun painting the pictures on the fence. And then when it dries, they can do it all over again. You're gonna do, you do some painting. You're gonna paint. For the next activity, you will need a bucket of soapy water and some cloths and any toys that you are happy for your children to wash. We chose animals and they had so much fun washing them and splashing in the bubbly water. Um, and even if you don't have a garden, you could do this inside and um, just put a towel down or you could even do it in the bath. Clean. Nice and clean. The next one is so simple but my children love it. We just put a blanket down and have a picnic for lunch. And you could do this inside too um, on a rainy day or if you don't have a garden. And they just find it so exciting. Um, and it is quite difficult to get Jack to sit down with us because he does love the freedom of not being sat in a high chair. So he does just grab some food and then walk around the garden with it. So whilst we're having our picnic, I thought I would share a little hack with you. So I always freeze the yoghurt tubes and they think it's ice cream, so they think it's a great treat um, when it's actually just a yoghurt, which I'm happy for them to eat. 
um, and it's also really good for teething as well so I thought that was a really great hack that I would share with you. So for the next activity all you need is a cardboard box and then something to decorate it like paint or crayons. We were really lucky to have a big cardboard box to make into a house and it was like a lovely little project to do together to decorate it um, and even if you don't have a massive cardboard box like this you could sit them inside of a smaller cardboard box with a box of crayons and that will keep them entertained for ages. So my next activity is just to make Rice Krispie Cakes, which we really love doing. Um, so all you need is melted chocolate, Rice Krispies and some cupcake cases. And obviously they love doing this so much because they get to eat chocolate. Um, and they do taste delicious, so I love it as well. And it was really great for Mila to practice scooping and putting it into the cupcake cases. And she obviously loved it because she got to eat chocolate. <laughs> so now we are going to make gloop and all you need for this is corn flour and water, a container to put it in and you can also add food colouring and glitter. So all you need to do to make it is just to tip some corn flour into your bowl or container and then slowly mix in the water until it's the right consistency. Um, when you touch it, it, it feels hard, but then when you lift it up, it's all runny. It's such a strange consistency, but they absolutely love playing with this and it keeps them entertained for so long. They, they don't want to stop playing with this. I have to stop the activity because they won't get bored of this, honestly. Do you want some glitter? Yes, I want some glitter in it. Ooh, glitter! <laughs> Mix it all in. I mixed it all in, we are. First, we need some corn flour too. Okay, so for the next activity, we are making moon sand. And to make this, all you need is some flour and some baby oil. And I just tipped some flour into our sand pit here. And then I slowly added baby oil and I kept mixing it around until it was the right consistency. Um, I actually found this from another YouTuber and she's called Jess and she's so lovely. I'll link her channel in the description box so you can go and check her out after this. She makes family vlogs, cooking videos, cleaning videos and she's just so lovely. Please go and subscribe to her channel. The next one is really great for a rainy day and it's just simply to make a den. You can use anything that you have at home. We used our sofa cushions, a blanket and a table and they just found it so exciting. Um, and you could do anything in there. You could watch a film or even have a tea party. Another thing that we like to do on a rainy day is go for a walk because it's a good time. There's not many other people around when it's raining. Um, and Milo and Jack just love jumping up and down in puddles. And another thing you could get them to do is to get them to paint some pictures um, and send it to family and friends. The next activity is great to set up the night before so that in the morning you can have some time to drink your coffee and make breakfast. Um, all you need is some masking tape and some dinosaurs or some animals and I taped them to the window as I need to clean them anyway <laughs> as you can see. Um, but they managed to get the dinosaurs off a lot easier than I thought um, but it did keep them entertained for a while because they really enjoyed playing with the tape afterwards. Yay, next time! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already and I will see you again really soon in my next video. Bye guys!